Welcome back to the Fox 9 Morning Buzz. Well, this Saturday, amateur authors and professional puzzlers alike will be able to master their mystery craft with a free workshop taught by a local expert. Attendees to the Month of Mystery at the Gallery at Barnes & Noble in Edina will learn how to write plot twists, turns, clues, characters, and a lot more. Joining us this morning is the award-winning local author and host of the Mystery Writers Workshop, Marilyn Jackson. Nice to have you back here. Thank you. How nice you? to be here. You were just saying, you, last time you were here, you were on your second novel. I believe that's true. And now you have a stack of five in front of you. And I'm working on number six. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. Okay, so first, I'm fascinated by this because I love mystery novels and thrillers are my favorite books to read. My first thought would be, if you're writing a mystery novel, the first thing you have to do is like start with the ending. Is that how it works, though? For some authors, yes. Okay. How about for you? Um, for me, no. I usually um, pick the dastardly deed ahead of time. Oh. And then I start writing. Okay. So w when you have workshops and you're talking to people who are interested in writing, um, so, some of the basic tenets of writing, you know, character development and obviously for a mystery having, you said, that the, the deed in your head. <laughs> uh, what are some of the other tips that you offer writers who maybe want to start writing mysteries themselves? Um, most authors um, do an outline ahead of time. They outline where their story is going to go. They outline where they're going to add clues along the way. And I don't do that. I don't use an outline because of my background as an investigator for 20 years. Because I, you know, how to do an investigation is ingrained in my, my mind. Mm -hmm. So I know from start to finish the entire um, process. So I don't use an outline, but most authors do and find it helpful. And do you use actual cases and people that you've met along the way as maybe not what you base the story on, but kind of a, something that starts an idea? Um, yes, yes and no. I don't use actual cases that I've worked on, but I use my experience that I learned over the 20 years, and that comes through my investigator experience in all of my books. What do you think is, when you look at a, a good mystery story, what is generally at the core, or why does one mystery story appeal to a wide group of people? The characters. I think characters are even more important than plot in a mystery. It's the characters that readers tend to identify with. They, they pick one character or another and they think, well, they're like me. And they want to follow them. They want to know what they're doing and, and the thought processes that they go through. Now this workshop, you say it's for anybody. It's for anyone. But it's hard for me to imagine, I mean, you have this background as an investigator, you know, I look at traffic cameras and like read about, you know, pop culture stories. So how can I hone my writing skills or what could I take away from that? I think everyone is an expert in some area. I mean, you know more than I do in certain areas. Alex, you know more than I do in other areas. And I always tell people to write what they know. And whatever you know, whatever your knowledge and background is, is new to the reader. And you're an expert. So use that when you're crafting your novels. Yeah, writing what you know. That to me yes. is uh, what I've heard is, Very is important. such a key thing. And everybody has something that they know about. And that's, that's a good jumping off point. Yes. Um, let's talk about mysteries. Was there a, a particular book when you were growing up or something that, you know, said that after reading it, you went, this is what I want to do. This Na is my Nancy passion. Drew books, of yeah. course. Mm -hmm. I mean, did you read them? Yeah. 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 Um, every new Nancy Drew book that came out, I, I gobbled up as fast as I could. And I've always been a lover of mysteries, always. And I always knew that I would write mysteries one day. And here you are. Oh, do you want to talk about your new book, which I can't see? That's the, the new one. one. The okay. Ploy. The Ploy. Tell us about The Ploy. The ploy takes place in Miami. Now, my other books, this is a series, so I have the okay. same two main characters in each book, each time solving a brand new case from start to finish. And they kind of jet around the world, these two investigators. The, the find goes between Miami, the Caribbean, and London. Um, Road to Omelos takes place on the Greek island of Crete. Um, Are these just reasons for you to take vacation? <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> could be. Sapphire Trails is set in Montana. Um, a real whodunit. Never an Ink is set in Europe between Italy, Switzerland, and France. And a lot of my readers said, when are they going to stay in Miami and solve a case? So I kept them in Miami for the ploy. That's in Miami the whole way through. 
Perfect. Well, wow. I think this Fantastic. would be an amazing workshop. Uh, anyone can go. Marilyn, thank you so much for yes. joining us out yes. there. We have some information on it. Uh, your latest book, The Ploy, is available now. And the Mystery Writers Workshop is this Saturday afternoon from 1 to 4. It's at the Barnes & Noble in the Edina Galleria. While the event is free, attendees need to register. So you can go to eventbrite.com for more details. Yes. Thank you again. Thank All right. you.